Hello and welcome to the channel, The Life of Travis. I'm Travis, by the way, and this is my cat. Hello. She's not very friendly, but we still love her anyways. This channel is based on kind of my hobbies. You'll see me be doing like outside work and, you know, things around the house and spend time with the family and stuff like that. I'd record outside, as you see, I'm kind of concealed in this little room here. It's pretty windy out, and I don't want that to bug the microphone here. So, we're going to stay in here. Uh, my hobbies right now basically consist of pellet guns, BB guns, CO2, you know, just little things. Like, I've had these guns for a while. Here, I'll show you. Right here's what I got. I got this. I've had this thing since I was probably like 12. You know, you see it's it's rusted. It's not the best thing anymore. But I mean, it was great when I was 12. <laughs> I got the scope zip tied on right now. I did that earlier because I was bored at the moment. So that's what I did. But uh, this shoots, I think, about a, a little over 300 feet per second, if not 300. And it shoots uh, 4.5 millimeter PBs. You know, nothing special, but they do the job. And then over here, oh, one, one more thing. This thing supposedly can shoot pellets. I used to be able to, but I kind of, those salt guns that you can shoot flies with, I put a bunch of salt in it. Now I won't shoot pellets. I wonder why. But, I mean, it still shoots BBs just fine. But anyways, this is another one I got. Now, let me get it out for you. Yeah. I'll go to my holster. But anyways, you know, CO2 pistol. Give me one second. There, I'll set you down right here. Help me. This pistol, it's, um... Got it written down here. Did a whole bunch of Google searching on these guns, so I could give you a good, accurate description. You know, look, look at me go. Uh, it is a an Ermax XCP. It's a CO2. You see, you, you lift up this back half, put your CO2 cartridge in there, close it, twist this knob, and it'll push it up into a pin, and then it'll release the gas. As you see, take some magazine here. Um, there's a fill line here. But I just fill it all the way. Might as well shoot them so fast that it don't really matter. Uh, it is a 17 caliber, you know, .177. Same with the, that BB gun I showed you earlier. It's a Grizzly, by the way. But right here, this, this is kind of the biggest thing I got right now it is the Black Ops sniper rifle it shoots about they rate it for 1200 feet per second but that's probably with you know lead free aloe pellets it's got an adjustable uh, cheek rest on it right here magazine it uh, it's for our tool storage. You got the nice bipod built onto it. This scope came with it. Everything here came with it. This gun is a grade A gun, but the scope that came with it is a little off by the, the closest you can zero it in, or I have been able to zero it in, is, is like four inches high and an inch or two to the left, but it's You'll hit that spot every time. You aim for the same spot, you're going to hit, you know, four inches up, two inches to the left every time. You'll put a pellet inside of a pellet. It's pretty accurate, but I need to get a new scope, but I will here eventually. This one works fine for now, I guess. And I shoot uh, a variety of objects, I guess you should say. Like, uh, I've wasted a lot of content already before I decided to open the channel I got out in the woods here where I shoot at I got 
a uh, microwave. And I got a TV, the water jugs. Um, had a few cups, like if something breaks in the house, say we got a, a glass cup, it cracks. The wife wants to throw it away, I'm like, should let me have that, you know. I'm gonna take in the woods and shoot it, see what happens. You know, and that kind of stuff. As you see here, these are my actually put effort into making some targets like right here this is just regular cardboard you know i got four pieces here all stapled together i got six here then over here i got a half inch plywood you know half inch and then i put one layer on so that's you know an inch down here you got an inch and a half and up here you got a whole two inches i don't think anything's really going to be able to make it through an you know, inch and a half, but you know, why not? I had it, so I screwed them on. We'll see what happens. Got some oh, water jugs, empty milk cartons, you know, see what fill them with water, see what happens. And I, and I shoot uh, three different kinds of pellets so far. You know, I'll, I'll get more as we go to see what they do, but I'd like to kind of get into more of more. Like spread out the feet per second when it comes to pellet guns. Like I get it, I'd like to get a new uh, revolver pellet pistol. It's pretty nice looking, but I gotta wait till I get back to work. I'm, I'm laid off at the moment for uh, winter and frost laws, and I do construction, you know, drive truck and all that. But anyways, these are these are your pointed 7.4 grains. You know, these are pretty good at penetrating. I like them. And then I got <clears throat> some wad cutters here. You know, they're pretty good for plunking a target or uh, uh, target practicing, you know. Not, not really hunting. They're, they're good for the very distinctive hole. I think there's 7.8 grain. And then these are gamma. Both of, both of these are crossmen. This is gamma. These are called red fire pellets. They are ballistic tipped. They're not, I mean, they're good. They're not bad. But I figured there'd be a big difference between these and the pointed. There's really not. But what I shoot, I shoot like, you know, metal plates and TV screens, you know, things that pellets probably aren't going to go through in general. I bet, I bet if I hit something kind of more designed for pellets maybe if I got like a, a gel block these might go in a little farther but I don't have gel block so I have microwaves and TVs <laughs> but yeah these are nice very pretty but yeah that's uh that's kind of the idea right now going I get into I play video games but I don't know if I'm gonna really put this Put that on this channel or not I don't know if it'll really fit or I don't know I'm kind of new to YouTube but I just want to see how it goes figured why not as you see here I had a stump and I hollowed it out for the wife to make a flower bed it's about you know they said about uh, six to a foot six inches to a foot depth for a flower bed so I did Roughly about eight. Stump is really hard to get through. I hope the wind's not too bad for you guys. But yeah, like over here, I uh, we had some trees in front of the house, so I I cut them down with the chainsaw. That would have you know made a video, but it is what it is, you know. And then I got a little pile behind me. This is a birdhouse for my grandma. She recently passed away, and I kind of. It was all scratched up, the paint was messed up, so I decided to re-spray paint it. I ran out of spray paint, and I gotta give it another coat. But, that, you know, that all could have been something. And then out here, through the yard, you know, I don't got much of a yard, so I don't really shoot here, because I don't know how the neighbors will take it. But I mean, we live next to her uncle, I got a friend across the road. So I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be a big deal, but I still don't want to press my luck. Anyways, 
here's a scrap pile I got, you know, a variety of wood. Got some cardboard back here. I uh, got some metals over here. You know, I got some bricks, some uh, closet doors, just things that I could possibly shoot in future videos or whatever, whatnot. And this is this big shed here, or shed. This is her uncle's shed. He's supposed to be to me, but he hasn't got his new shed yet to be able to give it to me. So that's my shed. You know, tarps and everything. I got a snow blow in there, lawnmower, weed whacker. Uh, I had my bike in there. I recently pulled that out to work on it a little bit. Chain was slipping. I had to put some new handles on here, up the tires. All that fun stuff. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me today and we'll be sure to get another video out here soon and pull out the pellet gun and go back in the woods and see what happens with these targets. Well thank you, I'll see you later.